Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. What we're going to do in the single guy kitchen today is we are going to do Mississippi pot roast. It's a very simple recipe, not very many ingredients, okay? We're just looking for one onion, sweet onion cut up, a packet of this stuff, and a packet of this stuff, pepperoncinis. Uh, at this point, I got um, banana peppers. They're cut up. This is what I could find at the store. And pot roast. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the pressure cooker, okay? And we're going to let it cook. But this is, there's just very little prep to this. It's a delicious, savory recipe. And let me tell you something. You try this, it's going to knock your socks off. This is a great, great meal. I mean, it really is. I'm probably going to be eating off of this for three or four weeks. <laughs> but anyways, um, okay, so let's get started. What do we do first? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut the pot roast and we're just going to cut it. Okay. Got my single guy knife right here and we're just going to cut it along the grain just like that. Okay. And then when we cut it, yeah, yeah, just like that, we are going to put it in the pressure cooker with a little bit of oil. We're just going to brown the side. It's on saute, and that's all we're going to do. We're just going to brown each side just like that. So, th oh, this is already, oh, man. Lord, the cow that gave his life for this. I'm going to be indebted forever. What a beautiful specimen. What a great piece of meat this is right here. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're just going to get that in there like this. And we're just going to brown it. Oops. We don't want this to fall over. All right. Like that. We're going to lift that up like that. Stay. All right. Lightly brown it. We're not gonna, it's not gonna be too too crazy. Yeah. Maybe I could get that other one in there. Rearrange these things. And yeah, why not? Try it again. Put that in there. Boop. Alright, that's in there. I know, I know, that's crazy. There we go. It's all in there. I know, I know, that's crazy, but I do wash my hands. And for some reason, I'm just, I don't know. As I've gotten older, my tolerance for heat on my hands has gone away. I think that's because my first job out of high school was working at a bagel factory, which was really kind of fun. All my friends got free bagels. And yes, that was a bagel factory in North Carolina. Delicious. All right, so once we get all this brown, then I'm going to show you what else we're going to do. Hang on, guys. All right, so you don't want to brown, I mean, you don't want to burn it or anything like that. You just want to brown it up just, just kind of nice so it holds together because this is going to be so fall off the bone, which there isn't any bone, but this is just going to be so tender that, I mean, it's just going to fall apart. It's, oh, it's, you're going to be amazed. All right. All right. While that's still sizzling, what we're going to do now, see all that junk down on the inside in there? See all that? Well, we're going to have to get that off. How do you do that, onion? We're going to have to get that out of there. Onions, man. Onions. So what we do is we put the onions in there, and then we just kind of whisk it around just a little bit. And notice how the onions are actually also taking on a nice slight little brown color. And we're getting all that stuff off the bottom. Just a little bit. Maybe, 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 maybe. Just a tad bit of water to help. Just not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can already smell the onions. See how the bottom is getting all nice and clear now? Oh, excellent. All right, that's actually kind of making a little bit of a gravy in there. That's nice. Onion gravy. 
I should patent, I should patent that. Onion gravy. You guys ever seen onion gravy before? Go ahead, try to patent it. All right. Okay, so once that's done, okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. All right? And then we're gonna put the meat back in. So now we just put the meat back in there, just like this. Pot roast is in. Pot roast is in. Pot roast is in. Let's put the biggest piece right here. Oh boy, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. That's, what's, what's left? And then the juice goes in there like that. Oh. All right, okay. So the next thing we do, see these two things right here? Yep. We just put it, the ranch just goes on top like that. Excellent. And then we got the McCormick Brown gravy. And that goes on there just like this. Put it in there. We're going to take, I have some uh, beef stock. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. About a cup. A cup will do fine. Maybe a little bit less. All right. Pepperoncinis. All right. So what we're going to do with them, first, we're going to take about a half cup of the juice, just like that. Put that in there. Right? And I've been I've been told about this before. Dad, put your hand in the ground and then ready to get this stuff out. Susie's skeptical one time uh, told me that. And then you just put those things on top, just like that. Some people I like cut up ones like this. Some people use the whole pepper. Hey man, you do you fam, and that's it right there. Alright. The next thing we do, we replace the cap. We made sure the cap's on correctly and replace the cap. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring you down here like this. And we're going to go ahead and boop, put that in there just like that. And all right, now you are at my level. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pressure cook just like that. Boop. And we're gonna pressure cook for, I say about 50 minutes. Arr. Now, about 50 minutes like that, okay? Make sure that this is set to pressure just like that, okay? We're good there. And then, here we go. Three, two, one start all right now we're just going to basically leave it alone uh we're going to let it do an, uh, a natural slow release so it's going to be 50 minutes and then probably another 15 minutes before all the pressure's uh out of there and then we're going to enjoy some pot roast i'm going to show you um a couple of different ways of uh of how you can eat that well you can eat it but i'm going to show you a couple of different ways of eating this um a lot of people don't realize this, but you can make a sandwich out of it too. So anyways, all right guys, see you after the break. So you guys, um, you guys seen me, do you guys ever want to see my, uh, my production assistant and my team, everything like that? Cause, uh, gosh, it's, there's so many people that help me make these videos that I just can't express my thanks and gratitude. So I'm going to put them on camera. Okay. Are you ready? There they are. Nobody. <laughs> That's the way I like it too. A lot less arguing. Okay, so you ever seen her? You ever been around the single guy uh, lake house? So let me show you a little bit about it. Okay, so obviously you see the kitchen. Kitchen has a normal, normal kitchen stuff, just like that, right? Okay. So now we go in here, and uh, we have the uh, the uh, stair climber right here, the little bow flex thing. You know, it's how I warm up. Got it. Got to really work out to keep this dad bod that I got. So, um, so anyways, uh, that's the, that's the living room. 
We're gonna go down in here. We'll come into the come into the garage. Go down in here like this. All right. Here is the CrossFit gym, the single guy CrossFit gym right here. Isn't that nice? That's right. I got everything I I need right here to do to like I said, keep the dad bod, you know. And we step out into the wonderful, wonderful Texas sun. It's so nice to so nice to have the sun back. And then we come out here to my pool area right around here. We got the little pool robot down there. He's he's sweeping everything up. I gotta get him out here in a few minutes, but this is this is basically my sanctuary right here. All right. Yeah, that's my sanctuary, just like that. Feed the birds over there. And uh, that's it. Just such a nice day I had to be outside. All right. So, go back in, right? back in here okay when I'm not cooking and being such a online video influencer here is my office that I actually work from every day yep this is what it looks like right here and there's the bicycles that I do not get out as much as I really honestly need to and here is the rest chambers. A lot less action happens in the rest chambers than used to, let me tell you. But you know, it's good to have a TV. French doors that come out. Right into the sanctuary. Isn't that nice? So now you have the tour. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we are going to wait on that uh, that pot roast to do its thing and then we'll see the results all right all right here we go so um we've had the natural pressure release it's about been been about 15 minutes well, let's just check huh see nothing going on there that's good that's good so let's see what this looks like smell is fantastic oh oh man let's try this here Oh, falling apart goodness right there, boy. Look at that. Just falling off the bone. Ah. Not bad. Not bad. We got some decent gravy in there. Here, let me get one of these pieces here. Put it on the table. Yeah. Just cut it up. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. That is absolutely delicious. It's not as tender as I'd like it, but it does kind of, you can see it is kind of falling off the bone right there. Not as tender as I want it, but it's okay. There we go. Probably should have cooked it a little bit longer. Mmm, but the flavor is fantastic. Oh my God. Mmm, I can't stop eating this. Goodness. Mmm, wow. And there wasn't a whole lot of seasoning in there, but it is just fantastic. Well, <clears throat> obviously, like any pot roast. Put this over rice, mashed potatoes, regular potatoes, whatever you want to do. Oh man, this is so good. Now one of the things I'm gonna do with this, I'm actually gonna make a sandwich out of it. That's right. And put that in there. Put the and a peppers on it. 
just like that. And that right there is my sandwich right there. All right. Listen, everybody, happy Memorial Day. I'm going to go enjoy this. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and um, happy Memorial Day. Talk to you later.